back to Alabama, it is day two, it's 9.30 and uh, I've just teed off on what is the third, 12th hole, par three to start the day and I'm about to play this now which is uh, 13, I'll take you on the remainder of this seven hole course vlog at Alabama, hopefully you've already watched part one of this video. Um, had a great day yesterday, sun was shining, it's about to come up now, I'm guaranteed sunshine here in Tenerife and I can't wait to see how I get on, I played really well yesterday, could have done with carrying on the whole thing really because as you know a uh, different day, different swing for us average golfers. But so far, not a bad start, and uh, we'll see how we get on. So anyway, better get teed up. yesterday it's, it's all right getting on them but uh, getting on them in the right place and again I've managed to find the right tier because you can see there's sort of three tiers in the middle of this green. Big feature of the golf course like I said I did if you watched uh, yesterday's vlog I did mention it before but you really have got to find the right specs to try and give yourself uh, some chance of a two putt. I mean did what I did yesterday which I put literally off the green this again is, looks like an ice rink down here and uh, quite easy go past the flag and off the green again. That's how scary they are. Real feature all 14th, great par three. Walk a bit forward just to make sure we get this one in. It's almost like an island green. The bailout is uh, is to the left, surrounded by water, either right or long. I've got it 175 into the flag. Do you know what, that was a bit unlucky. I played down the left, obviously just a little bit scared of that water. It's seven iron, it's very much downhill. And it stayed on the bank, it looks as though it was just gonna kick down and into the flag again, but uh, it has just held. Pit and eye as well, but happy enough with the strike, it, I went where I was aiming, just maybe just a little bit too scared of that water, I think. remember playing as well as I have done to be honest with you this um, it's carried on again this morning I'm hitting some decent shots out of interest just to let you know I've got a sort of mixed bag of clubs at the moment um, but this is the G410 irons um, that review should have been up by now so I'll reconfirm what I said with them uh, they perform really well out on the course in terms of consistency and numbers again things like that 160 uphill play the 7 iron it's bang on the button uh, for a full swing that for me and it's a number, it's, um, yeah, impressed with the irons, but 
obviously I'm more than smiling because of that shot I've just stuck in the middle of the green again. If you like a little bit of nicely manicured some features then Abama's brilliant as well because this kind of thing is going on all around you so it really, I don't know, it adds to the whole experience doesn't it? It's more than just pleasant, it's, it's, it's really nice and sometimes even on the bad days if you're hacking around a bit at least you can have a little look at a waterfall, it might cheer you up a bit. You're probably getting the idea by now what I said about these greens. I mean, all right, misread maybe, but Jesus, I didn't expect that. It literally, I wanted to set it rolling because I knew I had a chance of going off the front again. Um, but because of that, I underhit it so much, it literally fell off to the right, as you've seen, straight away, and absolutely no chance. So, again, great tee shot, great iron in, another three putt. Now, a bammer you could describe as pretty perfect, it's pristine. Most things that you get round here in terms of Obama are pristine, but go and have a look at where I've been staying in terms of accommodation. La Terrazza are the terraces that you can stay in when you're playing at Obama golf course. And seriously, this is well worth having a look. Don't normally throw too much of these accommodation things into the videos to be, I know you all want to watch the golf, but if you are considering coming out having seen this and you consider Tenerife and you consider Abama, then seriously, it's one of the best accommodations I've ever stayed in. It's perfect. I like the fact that, uh, A, like I said, three bedroom, possibly coming out with a, a few couples. If man and wife, you like playing golf, this is excellent. You've got the uh, flexibility of the kitchen there if you want to just eat in and then the hotel and the restaurants all around and about um, very close if you choose to do that as well. So you've got loads of options, park your buggy outside, drive down to the clubhouse and be on the first tee in literally a couple of minutes. Uh, I'm going to show you the reception area, there's pools here, there's, um, there's a, a little shop there. Uh, which is more than a little shop it's a bit of an upmarket delicatessen but it's gorgeous it really is honestly it's this special place the only way i can describe it really and being perfectly honest with you we do i, I normally do club reviews if i was doing accommodation reviews this gets a massive thumbs up and as a couple and i'm here with my wife she's been um f helping me film all of this uh, then we would choose to come back here any day of the week as a, as a holiday because it's, uh, it's, it's pretty much idyllic. I'm looking that way and all I can see is the sunshine and La Gomera, the island in the backdrop. Uh, it's absolutely stunning. Pretty impressive accommodation that, absolutely love it. But anyway, let's get back out there on the golf course and see how I end up in uh, this back nine on a Bama golf course. That's probably one of the best drives of it all day to be honest with you, the drive of the old G400 Max has been working well to be fair on uh, this little break but nail that one down the left and the camera should just kick that, I don't think that's far off centre of the fairway so uh, over to the pin crossover I think now from there. to the camera for a second before I get that ball out because that was uh, I don't know what's happened these last few days but my short game has never been so good since I touched those magic hands of Seve's that uh, whatever it was brass busters I called it in uh, in Buena Vista so uh, yeah I've never got up and down on so many shots and I can only think it's down to Seve some way anyway what a great birdie that is on 17 one all to go but um yeah my short game, I can't believe it. I cannot believe how many times I have chipped up and then uh, managed to roll in a putt. Unbelievable. Right, it might be a mistake. Uh, 
but I'm in a great position 166 uphill and I'm caught up between uh, 5 iron or 7 iron I'm going to try and hit a, uh, a pretty much full on 7 but like I said whether or not that's enough or whether or not enough I can put enough on that to get up there I'm not sure we'll soon find out not enough it's going to be short right I think oh it's crept on it's a million miles from the flag um, wasn't the best of strikes again trying too hard a little bit but I've got a hellishly long putt I would think but I've made the green anyway Right, I'm filming this ending. I'm on the, uh, I'm stood on the 18th tee, and obviously you'll have seen me play the 18th. So I don't know what I got there. I don't know what score, but it ain't going to ruin the round, is it? Because I've had a bit of a day out again. Uh, the sun has shone. The course has been in great nick. I've uh, made reference to uh, all the enjoyment I've had from it, and some decent golf shots on camera. So that's been brilliant. Uh, Obama's been brilliant. The whole Tenerife trip has as well. So that's the course vlog done. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I've perched up here on 18th tee because again. It's just all about these views and the backdrop. It's pretty special. And uh, if you get the chance, then hopefully having seen the video, if you're not aware of uh, a Bama golf course before, it might encourage you to uh, come and have a go. Because I think from what you've seen anyway, hopefully if we've done it any justice, uh, you wouldn't be disappointed. So anyway, comments down below. Thank you for watching. And uh, I'll now go and play 18, the one that you've already seen me play. And uh, I'll see how I get on.